we're back from the break. Big question time. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Things in reverse orders. Lunchbox Papa, what is your question of the big? What? Uh, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, today is a very special day. We're recording this, and to, uh, to many people, it's known as Fat Tuesday. The reason it's called Fat Tuesday is because you get fat because you eat all kinds of shit because you're giving up stuff for Lent. Tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. For uh, an extended period of time, you, uh, you give up something. Some For most people, it's meat or fish or something. I don't really know. But I know about the giving up part, that you give up things for Lent, which leads me to this week's big question. What should WWE give up for Lent? Oh, wow. Well, to, to clarify, I am a Christian. The thing you give up for Lent has to be something you really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Like, so, like chocolate. Yeah, exactly. So, so it has to be something WWE really likes doing that they should give up for Lent. Um, well, Mike, you jumped right in. What should yeah. they give up for Lent? <laughs> I'm going to go with Triple H 20-minute promos. Okay. Okay. They should give them up for Lent because, oh, man, if last night is any indication of this thing, build, it's going to so diddly up. Less is more for this build. Less is more. All right. All right. I, I'm thinking um, uh, they should give up um, burying people when they come to their hometown for a show. Uh, mm-hmm. This includes, not that it happens much more uh, anymore, Jim Ross. I, I Any diva gets near humiliated when they're in their hometown. Um, I just hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. And not even like heat, hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Like, let them have a glowing moment, please. Right? Um, that's me. That's me. And it's not even like usually like building towards a big blow off match. No, no, no. Like, we just kind of do it to do it. it. Like, it's what it feels like to me. So, that, that's fine. Uh, Alex, how about you? Alex is not. Yeah. There you go. Alex! 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 Sorry. Sorry, I, got, <laughs> I accidentally muted myself. That's, that's all right. Uh, I'm not ready yet. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. That is completely that's fine. Good. LB, do you have one fine, already? I do. I do have one. Thank you. Um, I think uh, what WWE should give up for Lent, just, just, you know, give it up for an extended period of time, see how they like it, but it is one of their favorite things, uh, breaking up tag teams. Mm. Every time they introduce a new tag team, your first thought is, I wonder how long these guys are going to last before they turn on each other. It is inevitable. And you're seeing it with Gold and Stardust. Granted, they had a longer run than we expected. But just let them go for a while. Legion of Doom didn't break up until one of them died. <laughs> let one of them die. And that, 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 that's actually not true. They did kind of break up because one was kayfabe and also in real life on drugs. <clears throat> Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop breaking up tag teams. We know it's coming. As soon as the shield came out, the first thought was, well, this isn't going to last. As soon as the Rhodes brothers started teaming, we were like, I can't wait for the inevitable Rhodes brothers match. Just let them ha- let them go for a long time. Maybe if the Ascension are a tag team for a decade, maybe they'll get over. <laughs> Who knows? That's, that's how long it'll take. Uh, at least, at least. <laughs> Fantastic, uh, Amen. You gotta have an answer to this. I do. Um, I think you should give up uh, announced teams trying to get themselves over. Yes. They I need to be like there it. to help, not to help themselves, right? You, you've had a long career, JBL. You don't need to get yourself over. Eamon, you really Eamon as an announcer for uh, Big Big Wrestling Promotion, uh, in, Inspire uh, Pro down there in, in Texas, have you ever tried to get yourself over? Uh, I have not. I've att- not attempted to. Um, and, and I really want to keep it that way because that's my job is to commentate on matches and get the wrestlers you know, who are, you know, Luckily, hopefully, selling tickets and and you know getting people attracted to the shows, getting you know them over. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I wish they would say. There you go. Doing. A little bit of inside inside info there, in case you didn't know. 
Um, also with us on the line, uh, Bobby F. J. Town. You're still with us from the first half. Of I'm course. still with us. I, I, I'm, it's blending together. I don't know what show I'm on. I don't know if you're still with <laughs> us. If you just Sword, joined you're on us. panel riot. Focus. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Spider Man, Miles Lord, Morales. What did you watch this week? That's crazy. Gotham. <laughs> I like it better than Mike. Bobby, what do you think about the big question? <laughs> um, I think they should give up Big Show and or Kane matches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's okay when they face new people, but when they face the same person over and 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 over again, it gets repetitive and tiresome. Right. Right. Of course. Uh, Kane and Daniel Bryan can have great matches, but if we've seen it many, many times, which we have, it loses its luster. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, they should give up the Kane and the Big Show matches. Excellent. Rizzle. Rizzle, do you have one for the big question? Uh, I'll, I'll, I, I will, okay, I'm there I am. Sorry. <laughs> I will uh, just say that I hope that they give up what they're doing with the WWE phone app. Uh, okay. For, for instance, during the Divas match, I believe both <laughs> Divas matches, there was who would be better in a Fifty Shades – who would be better in Fifty Shades of Grey? Mm-hmm. And uh, neither. And then the other one was uh, – it was brought up – the big the big one that was brought up was the uh, Roman Reigns question, which was uh, pretty lopsided. Like, why do we hate Roman Reigns? Pretty much asking the WWE Universe – why do you guys hate this guy? Please tell us because we don't we don't get it. And all of the answers were horrible. Yeah, like because mm-hmm. Daniel Bryan's better. They're running out of ideas. They've been doing They're, this for a while. Yeah. I think they need, that's the big issue. Some something to focus more on. Riz, they canceled the Not, magazine. They have to have all those writers do something. Well, then go to porn sites or something. I don't know. Whatever what? they do. <laughs> Where is Vic Venom? Vic Venom is dead. Bobby, no. Oh, wow. Bobby, no. Wow. He's He's dead dead Venom. Um, uh, Alex Carr is from California. Power to the Smarks. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I would say having every foreign wrestler eventually become a heel that relies on their uh, country of birth. Yeah. Like Russo, like no, Bulgarian. Really? Well, became Russian. Uh, Cesaro, I don't know. I, I, I think he's you know he's a great wrestler, and then they've you know they've gone from the the Swiss heel to the wacky ironic uh, we the people heel when he uh, joined the Real Americans, and then uh, now we've I mean they're not leaning on it so much now, but I mean it's just the point of like you know oh Vladimir Kozlov when he was a thing. Mm. You guys remember that guy? Oh, yeah. Yes. I still follow him on Instagram, and it's the best his, thing ever. His his build his build as Babyface was, I love Double Double E. Which I still use as my catchphrase. And then he, it was yeah. Nikolai Volkov 2.0. And then he disappeared, and then he debuted with no entrance music as a heel and beat up on his people and that. Then he put him with Santa. That was. Then he was. Then, yeah. Then he, was, he turned face again. Then he that's was rushing comic. Then he was rushing comic relief. Really. Mm-hmm. That's true. And Did, then he was. Remember, wow. remember when they were going to do the Santino Vladimir Kozlov uh, Beth Phoenix Beth Phoenix show? Mm-hmm. They should still days. do that. They yeah. should still do that for the network. Uh, Mike, I don't think you've gone yet, right? Yes, I did. I okay. Oh, okay. I, I think we got everybody that's. Uh, but if, if you no? if you want a second one, okay, you should also quit trying to make Roman Reigns look strong. Okay. He's a very big Simone. We know he's strong. Mm-hmm. All right. And of course, um, one second. Uh, um, if you want to contribute uh, w- w- uh, this week, um, uh, hashtag WMS big question. Let us know uh, what should WWE give up for Lent. 
Um, this week we're actually giving away uh, RWA's Best of 2013. Uh, I know Toys is right at one show. We're talking RWA Best of, but anyways, um, but uh, a really good show, a really good compilation that we did here uh, from uh, about a year ago. We still got to do 2014s, um, actually. Uh, but uh, uh, some great stuff. Some uh, uh, friends of the show. Uh, like Ryan Edmonds, like Shane Taylor, like uh, uh, who else is on this one? Uh, G Raver, uh, great matches, an I Quit match, some Steel Cage uh, action, and a, a great TLC tag match on here as well. Uh, so go check that out. Just hashtag big que- WS Big Question and let us know. Now, last week we had a question, um, which was, who would you have replace Vince McMahon uh, today as, as as like the head of creative or the company? Um, however you wanted to look at that. Um, people participating this week actually get a copy of Vicious Outcast Wrestling's January Jackpot featuring Davey Richards, cur- courtesy of uh, PittsburghWrestling.com. Um, some of the contributions, uh, I believe this is Dustin, uh, Mr. DRG on Twitter. Uh, the only acceptable answer, of course, is trips. But my heart still wants to chain back. I think all of us do. Uh, some other back and forth here. Uh, Sir Croft Scion says, Replace Vince. I'll go with Triple H for sure. After that podcast, I would love Hunter being at the helm now. And this is, of course, after the Stone Cold podcast that we were talking about. Um, we have Mad Nutter uh, 0102 <laughs> says, I'd bring Shane back. Triple H is to be uh, is to uh, uh, be molded into the same way of thinking as Vince. And with Shane not being there for so long, um, he would have some fresh ideas and input. Interesting way to look at it, you know. Uh, so thanks to all those guys for contributing, and you guys can have a part of it, too, on there, on, on the Twitters. And uh, follow the show, share the show, and uh, and have fun with it. Um, so also, hey, check it out. Another way you can support the show is uh, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS is a good place to start with that. Um, go here. We can get some great designs. We have the designer with us right now, Alex Cars, for some of these shirts, including the good times at uh, WrestlingMamShow.com. <laughs> Uh, the wonderful Fast Times logo that you set up there. Great stuff, Alex. So you've been helping.